Hello everyone, this is Danny from creatingwebstore.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create categories and subcategories in Magento. First, this is my store. As you can see I have absolutely no categories created. I'm actually going to create a couple and I only have one item listed. So to start, simply go to uh, your admin panel and then go to catalog and manage categories which is this page right here and now you will notice that you have a default category at least if you have a default installation of Magento uh, what this default category is it's actually a uh, root category and uh, root categories uh, serve as sort of uh, placeholders for example if you have categories such as these with store views you can actually choose a store view and then enter in a root category for each store view for example, I can enter in a root category for English and then subcategories within that root category. Or I can choose French and again enter in another root category and a subcategory within it. Or I can choose all store views so that all uh, my stores share the same um, root categories and subcategories. Of course, that's the only thing different from what I'm going to show you here where I don't have any store views. So uh, if you have store views, don't worry about it. This will all work the same way. So simply uh, click on the root category that you'd like to add a subcategory to. And here I'm going to click on add subcategory and I will name this subcategory shoes. And here I will choose is active. If I do not choose uh, yes for is active, um, the category won't show up. For URL key, this right here, this is the URL key, so it's sort of the path of your uh, category. Uh, it's important to use a descriptive path. For example, what I like to do is I use, like to use the name. The only difference is, is you'll want to keep uh, the URL path there uh, lowercase, and you'll want to leave out special characters so the best way to do that would be by entering in only letters dashes and numbers so I'm going to enter in shoes here as for description this is the description of your uh, category you can use the HTML editor here if you'd like so I'll enter in men's and women's shoes and I can add some styling as for image, if you'd like, you can add an image. If not, you don't have to. For a page title, I'll enter in shoes as well. This is a page title right here. That is uh, useful for uh, your visitors as well as for search engines or uh, Facebook. For example, if I were to go to uh, Google, and I were to enter in shoes uh, what you see here this is your uh, title and here this is your meta description so what you enter in here will show over here and what you enter in here will show up over here so I'm going to enter in the same description only without the HTML tags you want to leave out HTML tags here as for keywords you would enter in keywords this is uh, mainly for uh, robots uh, application stuff like that uh, your visitors won't see this unless they look at the source code of your site and include a navigation menu this right here, this is your navigation menu, and I'm going to enter in yes. And uh, display mode, products only, static block only, static block, and products. This is products. You can actually create a static block by going to CMS static blocks. And here I have the static blocks for the electronic landing page, which is this right here. And here, this I only have static blocks so in my case I only want products so CMS block if you want to add a CMS block you can is anchor this would be this right here if you choose is anchor this box will show up if not you won't have any uh, links on the side and uh, the sort 
this is the sort and default sort you can choose the default value I'll just leave it as uh, config settings which I'm going to show you later how uh, this config settings uh, works as for layered navigation price step this is layered navigation price step for custom design if you'd like you can enter in a custom design if not you don't have to and for category products you can either choose a product or products or no products at all for example if you're uh, using um, a static block I guess you don't have to because you can always enter in a subcategory within this subcategory and then show products in my case I'm going to choose a product and I'm going to click on save category so now I'm going to create another category within this one but first let me show you how this looks as you can see I created the category shoes so this is my shoes category and as you can see I actually have uh, the same image for my category as I do for my product obviously you'd want to add a little something nicer for your category image if you're planning on using one and now I'm going to uh, create a subcategory by clicking on subcategory and making sure that shoes is uh, highlighted selected I should say and here I'm going to enter in women's shoes I'm not going to explain all these fields again because I'm uh, going to speed this up for you a bit so as you can see now I have a subcategory and if I click it it takes me to that subcategory and if I go back to the shoes category my subcategory also shows up here in this uh, layered navigation so when you're ready you can add other categories the same way for example if you want another category on its own here you would just go back to default category and you would click on add subcategory and you'd enter in another subcategory there and then that one would show up uh, next to shoes for example if you would enter shirts it would show up right there as for the configuration settings you would go to system and click on configuration here and then you would go to catalog and for example if you go to front end here this is where your product listing sort by would be and if you would go to layered navigation this is where you would have the layered navigation step calculation and you can change um, how this is uh, shown right there so that's that thanks for watching stay tuned for more videos and also be sure to check out creatingawebstore.com